this particular problem says find the sum of the following series where sum is given by 1 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 4 all the way till 1 upon n. Now if you look at this particular series all right you will notice that you will require one variable called as sum which is given the initial value 0. In this series the numerator is always 1. The numerator is always 1 so I do not need to take any variable. But the denominator starting from 1 is increasing by 1 every time. So denominator is has to be a variable. So I will give the denominator the variable name i with the initial value 1. And this endpoint n I shall give it with this variable n. First thing is in order to find the sum of this particular series I need to know what is this value of n. So I am going to ask the user enter the value of n. So let's say the user enters some value of n. Suppose user enters the value of n as 5. So what I am going to do is I am going to say repeat for count is 1 comma 2 comma 3 till 5. And in that loop what you will do you will say sum is sum plus 1 upon i. Then you will increase i is i plus 1. This process will continue till the count of 5 is done. So take a look at this repeat for and then we will go ahead with the explanation and the dry run. So what I am doing is based on the value of n I am going to execute this particular block n number of times. So sum is sum plus initially 1 upon 1 then i becomes 2 so it will be sum is equal to sum plus 1 upon 2. Then next time i is i plus 1, i this becomes i becomes 3. So sum is sum plus 1 upon 3. This particular process will keep happening till the count is equal to the value of n. At that point what I am going to do is I am simply going to do a print of this particular series. One change I would have done here is instead of using the equal to sign I should have probably used the or not probably I should be using the assignment sign here. So do make this correction in your sheets. So here what I am doing here is I am assigning sum is sum plus 1 upon i, i is assigned i plus 1. This particular loop is getting repeated till we get the sum of this particular series. Let's try it out with some value of the end point. Let us say n is 7. First step sum is 0, i is 1. Okay, when we get the value of n, n is 7. Repeat for count is equal to 1 to 7. That means it will execute this particular block or loop of statements 7 times. Then what I do here is sum is sum plus 1 upon i. i is 1. 1 upon 1 is 1. So sum is also 1. i is 1 plus 1. Sum as i has become 2. Then I go back here. Then what has happened is now sum is 1 plus 1 upon 2. 1 upon 2 is 0. 0.5. So sum becomes 1.5. i becomes 3. Then after i becomes 3, then what I am doing here is sum is 1.5 plus 1 upon 3 is 0. 0.33. So sum becomes 1.833. i ends up becoming 4. Now next time when you come here, we again go back here. So sum is sum plus 1 upon 4. 1 upon 4 is 0 0.25. So 1.833 plus 0 0.25 is 2.08. Okay. Then i ends up becoming 5. Okay. Since i becomes 5 here, we come back one more count. So sum is 2.08 plus 1 upon 5 is 0 0.20. So it becomes 2.28. i has become 6. Now when i has become 6, again we come back here. Sum is 2.28 plus 1 upon 6 is approximately 0 0.16. So it is 2.44. Then i becomes 7. Okay. Then it is 2.44 plus 1 upon 7 is 2.58. Then i has become, ended up becoming 7. Okay. After i has become 7, all these 
steps are over because it has run through this block of statements seven times. Since it has run through this block of statements seven times, I am going to print the sum of series as 2.58 and halt. So I hope this gives you understanding of the sum of the series from 1 to 1 upon n based on the value of n.